Before taking a closer look at the actual muscles within the arm, I want to discuss the idea of compartments. Before we do so, recall that the arm is the region of the upper limb located between the shoulder and the elbow, while the forearm is the region between the elbow and the wrist. So if I'm describing muscles of the arm, be sure that you're thinking of this region between the shoulder and the elbow. Within the arm, we're going to divide this up into two different compartments. We're going to see that there's an anterior compartment of the arm, which will be located in front of or anterior to the humerus, and a posterior compartment of the arm, which will be located posterior to or behind the humerus. Now, it's often easiest to understand how these structures are organized by taking a closer look at the arm with a cross-sectional view in mind. So what we're going to do is take a look at a cut through the entire arm at the same time and discuss some of these structures in more detail. Typically, when we look at a cross-sectional cut of a region, we'll be looking at it from an inferior to superior perspective because this is how diagnostic imaging is done. You would be standing near the patient's feet and looking towards the patient's head. So it's a good orientation to be familiar with of looking from an inferior to a superior perspective. The first thing to look at with the cross-sectional cut of the arm is that this is essentially a round structure. So that will be an indication that we're looking at a cross-sectional cut somewhere in one of the limbs. Now, the next thing to identify is if there's one bone or two bones within this region. In this case, we have one centrally located bone, which is going to be the humerus. Anterior to the humerus, we are going to have the anterior compartment of the arm, with three different muscles shown here in cross-sectional cut. We're going to go into more detail about what these muscles are, but for now, realize there's going to be a subdivision between the group of muscles located in front of or anterior to the humerus and those located posterior to it. The posterior compartment of the arm has been highlighted in pink. And although this looks like there's multiple components, which there are, they're actually all of one large muscle, which we'll look at in more detail with the posterior compartment of the arm. What I wanted to highlight here in this cross-sectional cut is not only the fact that they're going to be located in front of or behind the humerus, but that there's going to be additional structures within these compartments. So it's not just muscles in isolation. For example, within the anterior compartment of the arm, we're going to need a nerve to make those muscles move, which is going to be the musculocutaneous nerve and we can see that it is sandwiched within the different muscles within this compartment. Similarly, near the posterior compartment of the arm, we're going to see a nerve known as the radial nerve, which is responsible for providing motor innervation to the muscles within this posterior compartment. Now, beyond the arm or distal to it, we're going to need more nerves to reach the forearm or the hand. And that's what we're going to see medially here with the median nerve and the ulnar nerve. So although they don't reach target structures within the arm, they need to continue to the forearm. So they will pass through the arm to get to those targets. Additionally, after nerves, we're going to see the presence of blood vessels. We can see on the medial aspect of the arm a large artery. This is known as the brachial artery. Recall that the brachium is another nerve name for arm. So the brachial artery will be the key artery within the arm. We're going to have some deep veins located near that brachial artery and a couple of superficial veins also traversing through the region of the arm, namely the basilic vein and the cephalic vein. So I would strongly recommend after looking or listening to some of these other recordings and lectures on the components of the arm, to come back and revisit this one to better understand the different compartments and structures within a cross-sectional view.